Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about how to write a do while loop. So we'll talk about the syntax and we'll see a couple of examples on how to write a do while loop. So let's get started. So the general syntax for a do while loop is first we write do and then we write the statements and then we check for the condition. So that means irrespective of whether the condition is satisfied or not, first time the statements will be executed. And once the statements are executed, and then it'll check the condition, and if the condition is satisfied, again it'll execute. So as long as the condition is satisfied, the statements will keep on executing. Now, we'll see some example for this in Eclipse IDE, and then we'll come back. I just opened the code that we have written in the previous lesson where uh, using a while loop. So in case of while loop, first we are checking the condition. So, so first we'll check the condition and if condition is satisfied, it'll come inside and then it'll iterate. That's how while loop works. Now how a do while loop works is if I have to put here do and then I'm putting here while i less than or equal to five. Now one thing that you have to note here is that you have to put a semicolon into while loop. So I had to put a semicolon. Now let's try to debug this code and see how this code really works. So I'll put a breakpoint. All of you know how to put a breakpoint. We have seen this in the previous modules. So double click on this here. Let me double click. I just added a breakpoint. Now, now I have added breakpoint there as well. So let me remove this one. Now I added a breakpoint here. Now how to debug the code. So why do we debug is we'll understand how the code flow happens. Now let's click on this run and select this debug. Now click OK. I just want to save it. Click OK. And you'll see the breakpoint stop there. Now we need to press F6 for debugging. So let me press F6 and debug the code now. So first it came inside. See it's not, uh, so it'll print hello. And you can see there it just printed hello. So I'll just move the output so that we can see clearly while it prints output and debugging. Both we can see here. So it printed hello there. And now I'll, I'll press F6 now. Now it, it is checking the condition now. Now ideally i value will be, if you see here, i value will be two, right? See here, I just moved the mouse there. You can see i value is two. And now I'll press F6. Now, I, now it, it came to two there. Now let me press F6. So it is printing hello. You can see right side. Now i becomes three, three less than or equal to five. Yes, it's printing hello. And i value becomes four, four less than or equal to five, yes. It's printing hello. I value becomes five. Five less than or equal to five. Yes, it will print hello. And then it came here. It is printing hello. Now I value becomes six. Now I, when I value becomes six, the condition fails and it'll come out. It'll come outside. Okay. So so it just printed five times using a two while loop, right? So now one thing that uh, that you need to uh, remember when you're writing do while loop is that let me show you. Now I'm writing here i equal to seven. Okay, I just wrote here i equal to seven. Now if it is a while loop, let me put let me put this way. Now I'll just put here control x and paste it here and delete this. Now in this case, I just kept i equal to one and I'm checking for while i less than equal to five. So in this case this will not be executed at least once. So see here now I'll just, I have kept a breakpoint. Now let's see what happens now. Now I'll just put here debug and click OK, saved it. Now the breakpoint stopped there. So in case of while loop, if the condition is not satisfied, it will not even print once. So now if I see this, let me press F6 now. You can see it's checking for the condition and it's not satisfied, so it will come outside. So it came here, it didn't go inside. But in case of do while loop, even if it is not satisfied, at least once the statements are executed because condition is checked after executing. So see here now, I'm writing do and then I'm writing while. So in this case, the condition is not satisfied because I value seven. Seven less than or equal to five is not satisfied. But now let's see what happens if I debug this. So I'll just click on this run and debug. Now click OK. Now the breakpoint stopped there. Now, now press F6 now. I'm just pressing F6. You can see here it is executing. And then it came here. I value becomes uh, 8. Now, now it's checking for the condition. The condition fails and it will come. It will go outside. 
Okay, so this clearly tells that the statements inside do while loop will be executed irrespective of whether the condition is satisfied or not at least once. Once the statements are executed, then it's checking for the condition, right? So now we'll go back and go back to the PPT and see some more points about do while loop. So here is the syntax for do while loop, do and then statements, and then it's checked for the condition and semicolon we have to write it. Now let's see the points about this. So here, Statements inside do while loop will be executed at least once irrespective of whether the condition is satisfied or not. And please note that the semicolon is required at the end of the do while loop. So the semicolon is required. Now this is a simple example. We have seen it. So first the statements are executed and, and uh, we have seen this. And here also one point to note that if we miss to add I counter plus plus, the loop will become infinite loop. So if you forget to put this I counter plus plus or if you forget to change I counter value, so if you don't uh, change the I counter value, so always it'll be one and this condition will never fail. So it'll be keep on looping through and that is called an infinite loop into while. Okay, so I hope you're clear with the syntax for do while and what is the difference between while and do while loop. And um, in the next module, we discuss about arrays. Thank you and see you in the next module.